Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Holy Potter, and I'm back with another video. As y'all boys can see by the title and the thumbnail, y'all, today we're about to be giving y'all the new updated Season 4 Dribble Tutorial, y'all. We're about to be showing y'all all the new cheesy speed boosts, all of that moves, and yeah, make sure y'all boys drop a like button, drop a sub button if y'all haven't already, and let's get straight into the video. Alright, y'all, as y'all boys can see, we got the dribble cam for y'all boys at the top right of y'all screen. Now, we're about to be giving, first we're going to go over the basics, y'all. That way, y'all can just, like, adjust to everything else easier. So, in order to do a crossover, all you want to do is the balls in your right hand, tap once on the left on the D-pad. Boom. If the balls in your right hand, you tap right on the D-pad. Boom. That's basic. Everybody should know that. Now, in order to do a behind the back, this is called a behind the back move. You want to do, if the balls in your right hand, you want to do right D-pad down. I usually slide it. So, right, right D-pad down, slide. If the balls in your left hand, left D-pad down, slide. That's how you get that. You can also spam those two. I don't really do that much because it doesn't really do anything. But you can both. You can spam those both. So all you got to do in order to spam them is do the same thing I taught you. All you got to do is do it like take turns on both sides doing it. So left side, right side, left side, right side, left side, right side, left side, right side. Right y'all got the jizz. I don't really do that though. Another move y'all boys are going to do. So you know how I just showed y'all boys how to do the behind the back. So boom, all you have to do is so the ball's in your right hand. For this move, it doesn't really matter what, what, what hand the ball's in. So... Just do a normal behind the back. So I'm gonna do right D-pad and then down. And all you gotta do is spam that. You're gonna get this glitchy move. Right D-pad down. Right D-pad down. As y'all see, I'm not even using, I'm not even doing it on both hands. I'm just doing right D-pad down. And it's gonna give you this glitchy move, right? In order to like go up the court with the move, all you're gonna wanna do is hold your sprint button and <clears throat> your left stick up while you do that behind the back. And it's give you this glitchy, glitchy, um, how do I say? It's kind of like the um it's just a glitchy crossover, y'all. Like, you can get a crab off that right there. You can get an easy crab off that every time. I'm telling y'all, boys. Almost every time. Now, another thing I like to do with it is I like to spam it, and then I I like to, like, rotate it. So, like, behind the back spam, you just spam behind the back. And then after you do that, all you got to do is do the 360 out of it. Like, hold on. Let me show y'all, boys. Hold on. So, spam the behind the back. You do the 360 out of it, and you could just do combos. You know what I'm saying? Like... It's just so cheesy. Another thing you should be able to learn easily is the same move behind the back and then out of nowhere hit him with a step back and shoot that. I'm telling y'all boys, that will get your opponents off guard a lot. Now another move that I learned is the look back shot. Now recently everybody has been doing this and I feel like this is one of the most effective shots you could put up in the game, y'all. I'm telling y'all boys, this is y'all boys want to learn how to do this. So y'all, another thing y'all could do is pretend like you're dribbling out the shot clock and you're about to run out of stam. Now, after you do all those dribble moves, go like this. They're going to think you're out of stam. And what you're going to do is look back with your left stick and shoot it without holding the sprint button. That's all y'all got to do. All you got to do is look back and shoot it without holding the sprint button. And it'll give you that glitchy look back shot like this. Hold on. Let me do it again. You, you want to do the circular motion like this. That way you can catch them off guard and shoot that. And it's almost a guarantee shot if you're getting clamped up. I'm telling y'all, boys. Another another move I'm about to show y'all boys is the speed boost. Now, this is what I call the 360 speed boost, y'all. Now, look. In order to do this, all you're going to do is the balls in your left hand. You double tap, which is the normal the normal um, 360. And then you switch hands and you do it again. Switch hands, do it again. Switch hands, do it again. But I like to do it while you're sprinting. It's just way better. So, look. This is how it looks. 360, switch hand, 360, switch hand, 360, switch hand, and you can shoot a fade off that. That's a, that, like that's literally the best thing y'all could do. Another another cheesy speed boost, you could do the crossover one. I haven't really mastered this one yet. This is pretty good, though, too. Look, y'all, hold on. Let me see if I can get it for y'all boys, because I don't really do this one. All right, so crossover, boom, crossover, boom, crossover, boom. Hold on. It's kind of hard. So crossover, boom, switch, crossover, boom, switch. It, it's the same thing, just crossover. Same thing as the 360 crossover, but the most effective one, in my opinion, y'all, is the behind the back speed boost. So look, in order to do this move, you could just combo up. Say the boss on your left hand, you do the behind the back speed boost behind the back, like behind the back switch hand. That's what y'all boys are gonna wanna do. So like, look, let me show y'all boys again. So behind the back switch hand, behind the back switch hand, behind the back switch hand, all at, while you're sprinting. Make sure you're always sprinting when you're dribbling, y'all. So. Behind the back switch hand, behind the back switch hand, behind the back switch hand, and it doesn't look that fast on your screen, but I'm telling y'all boys, once you got somebody guarding you, you're gonna be zooming past them with that move. Another thing y'all could do from that move is another thing y'all boys are gonna do is the same. It's the same move, but you're gonna do it like a, a side step after you do the speed boost, the behind the back speed boost. Boom, boom, boom. I keep on messing it up, y'all. Hold on. Boom, boom. I keep on doing the crossover. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna get it for y'all. Boom, boom. 
hop step they're gonna jump on that and you're gonna have a free shot i'm telling y'all boys that's almost that's almost a guaranteed point every time y'all another thing that y'all boys are gonna want to adjust to is the look back fade y'all like this that that shot is really overpowering when i'm telling y'all boys when i say i've been clean see look y'all i don't know if y'all boys know but i i have started my own clan called hm it stands for hoop hoop mafia y'all and every time i do clan battles this is like one of the main shots i put up y'all so i just take up the ball i use the product slide i take up the ball and then I hit them with a random look back fade. I'm telling y'all boys, that's a, a really effective way to score. A, not, a lot of people don't see it coming. It's kind of like, it's like almost like unreadable, y'all. You're just randomly doing a, a fade like that. It's almost unreadable. And you could do it from like right, you could do it from like right here. I think it's the farthest you can fade from like right here. And most of your opponents will be really confused. Now, I know this sounds like really weird, but like, I'm not gonna lie to y'all boys, one of the most overpowered ways on scoring is pump faking, y'all, believe it or not, that's what Hoop Nation has come to, so like, say you have to do a step back, look, I'm gonna show y'all boys, I like to run in, step back, wait, and then shoot it, because most of the time, they're gonna jump, thinking you're going for the shot animation when you do the hop step, that's another good shot y'all boys could do, now, another thing y'all boys could do is, y'all know the move I just showed y'all boys, like, two minutes ago, all you want to do is a circular motion, and the same thing, you look back without sprinting, you just tap the shoot button, it's going to pump fake, and a lot of people jump off that, and you can get a free point off that. I'm going to show y'all boys how to do the Prada dribble moves, y'all. This is how you do the Prada dribble moves, aka the speed, the speed, it's the, like, how do I say, it's kind of like the speed boost 360 behind the back, so you would just want to do, like, combo. So this is how you do the 360, you should know how to do the 360, and then the behind the back while you're moving forward and sprinting. This is how it go. This is how it looks while you do both of those. Come on. So 360, boom, 360, boom. I'm messing up. So 360, boom, 360, boom, 360, boom, 360, boom. Three. All I'm doing is 360 and behind the back while I'm sprinting, moving forward. And that's th that's what I get, y'all. That's the animation you'll get once you do that. You could take that up the court doing that all the time, y'all. And then you can get a floater out of that. In order to do a floater, because a lot of y'all boys still don't know how, aka how to do the crab product cheese, once you're doing those combo moves right here, once you're doing those moves, hold on, let me let me take it back. Once you're doing these moves, go do that behind the back. You should have the crab after you do that behind the back. If not, you restart until you get that space, and then you're going to do the crab floater. Now, in order to do the floater, y'all, all you're going to do is go for a normal layup. So this is the normal layup, but in order to get the floater animation, y'all boys, all you boys are going to want to do is do it without sprinting, and y'all boys will get that floater animation, y'all. Here's another glitchy move that I stopped using, but I'm going to start adding to my bag recently is, so you go in, you fake them out like right here, you do a, you do a hop step and then you go in for that, either that shot right there, or you could just do this. Hold on y'all. You could either just do this. So you go in, you go in like this and then you run in for the layup after it. you have to hold this sprint while you're doing that though. So hop step and then you go in for the layup while you're holding sprint y'all let me see i don't know if you could do a, let me see if you could do a floater out of that i actually never tried that hold on give me one second y'all i'm guessing y'all boys can't do a floater out of it i don't know why the game doesn't allow you to hold on let me try one more time as y'all boys can see you can do the floater out of it that is another cheesy move that i might add to my bag y'all just look how far you can make those floaters from hold on Hold on, that's actually a cheesy move. That's actually a very cheesy move and really effective move that I just learned and y'all boys seen it firsthand, y'all. So the way to do that is all you want to do is sprint sprint in, do the hop step, and then you do the floater without sprinting. So it's a layup without sprinting. That is really effective. I'm, I'm already knowing that's going to be really effective. Another way to catch your opponents off guard is say you, they're thinking you're going to do the floater, the prodigy. They're thinking you're going to do the prodigy, right? They're going to be thinking you're going to do that. So another way to score that I score a lot of off of is say they're running in. You're going to want to do a 360. They're going to think you're going for that floater. You're going to hit them with the pump fake. They're going to 100% jump. You can either floater out of it and get the free green or you can do a shot. So boom, just pretend they jump. A free shot almost every time, y'all. Another way y'all could do it is say they're thinking you're doing the move. Say they think you're doing the move. You hit them, tap the shoot button once. And then as soon as you see the bar fill, you tap it again. So you kind of just want to tap it instantly after you tap it again. Look, so so this is how you do the move. So you run in. You want to do the 360. The 360 they're going to think you're floatering it. You tap it once and then you tap it again. And they're, that's a free floater. Most of the time, they're going to jump after that first hop step, y'all. And that's what's going to catch them off guard a lot of the time. Another move y'all boys could do with one of the speed boosts. This is the 360 speed boost. This is the move y'all could do. So 360, 360, 360, and then you hit a fade out of it. That's also a very clean move. But I didn't even do it right that time. So look, I'm going to show y'all boys. 360 and then fade. 
That move will catch them off guard a lot of the time. I'm gonna give y'all boys a tip. If y'all boys are in the gym, I highly recommend your meters on. But if you're in the park or the matchmaking, turn your meter off. The timing is different and it's really hard to green. Well, I wouldn't say it's really hard to green, but it's it's like you make less greens in gym. So I would recommend you turn on your meter in gym. But recently I've had my meter off in park games and in matchmaking games, y'all. So that's just my quick little tip. I say if if you're in the gym, just keep on the meter. Cause like it's why not? It's easier. I did forget to tell y'all boys, I created my own clan called HM, y'all. This is my own clan. I call it HM. As y'all boys can see, this is the clan outfit right here. This clan outfit looks cheesy. Look at the my court, y'all. Just look at the my card. We got the little antsy up. This is where all the clan battles will be hosted, y'all. And it's comp my court, y'all. This is very comp. Anyways, y'all, that was it for the video. I hope y'all boys enjoyed the video. Make sure y'all boys comment what y'all would like to see next. And I'm going to catch y'all boys in the next one. Holy Prada out, y'all.